Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, as Nelly said, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Well, this is truly what we would think. Um, the world's average temperature is rising every year and is expected to be 5 to 10 degrees higher by the end of the century. Studies confirm this is a much larger increase than in the ta last 10 millennia. But again, this is one of the many consequences of global warming, along with retreated glaciers, famine, climate refugees, and new diseases. The Earth is undergoing truly drastic changes. In our modern world, with mass consumption and ever-increasing needs and desire, we don't fully realize the long-term damage that we're inflicting. Human activity is progressively increasing the atmospheric concentration of gases that contribute to the greenhouse effect. The planet is heating up and we, humankind, could really be in real danger. But what I feel is missing is a sense of urgency. If you agree with the factual analysis, but you don't feel the urgency, then we won't change anything. Our generation here today needs to realize the urgency and to act now. What we need is another generation of heroes. We, the young generation, are faced with a choice. Apathy or engagement. What do we do? We have a planetary emergency. When you look at history, those who fought against racial discrimination, they were heroes. Those who abolished slavery, they also were heroes. And just like them, we can be heroes when it comes to climate change. Don't tell me we don't have the capacity. This may be the greatest challenge ever faced by any generation so far, but I believe we can rise to this challenge. We can be the generation that, in a hundred years from now, poets, singers, and artists will celebrate by saying they were the ones that did it. They saved our world and gave us a future. The 2014 Fermion Conference can be our starting point, but how do we make this happen? I am not a soldier, believe me, but my grandfather told me once that military conflicts are divided in three categories, the local battles, the regional battles, and sometimes important global ones. Each level of conflict requires a different strategy and different tactics. The battle against global warming falls into the three similar categories. Most of us here can easily picture the local environmental battle, air pollution, waste disposal. Regional environmental battle includes river pollution and acid rain. Rising sea levels are global battles. We have to mobilize globally for renewable energy, energy efficiency, and a global transition to a low carbon economy. We must strive for national policies, policies sorry, that protect the resources we share with our neighbors. But none of this will succeed if we don't also fight the local battles. Each of one, each of one us here today in this room can contribute to improve the environment by making cho changes at the local level, however small. We may be small gogs in the machine, but it really matters that we each care, and we must all engage in the global debates. Like Mahatma Gandhi famously said, you must be the change you want to see in the world. We will be in charge of our planet in a few years from now. A scary thought, trust me. What kind of world we want? We will be voting, we will be managing companies, running organizations, representing governments, and educating new generations of children. Climate change will surely be on the top of our agenda, but there is no time to waste. Earth is our only home. Al Gore said in the movie, In Inconvenient Truth, what is at stake is our ability to live on planet Earth, to have a future as a civilization. It is your time to seize the issue and secure your future. So, here we are in Geneva for three days. We all have plenty of ideas and some experience that we bring from our different schools, our local communities, and our home countries. So what do we do? Let's try to cool this place down. On behalf of 2000 Fermion team, we wish you an exciting and a productive conference. Thank you.